Coming on guys, today we are looking at Nerez, the 86 objective you can get from the UEFA tour and we want to see, is he worth your time? As we know, Road to the Finals can be upgraded and he should be able to, if Benfica suddenly win the Europa League, get a plus four on the overall, an extra play style plus and also a five star, five star by the end of the Europa tournament. Whether that happens is going to be a big one, but for qualifying, he needs to qualify for the round of 16, includes automatic qualifications, qualify for the quarters, the semis, and also the final, and then to win the final would give him the final upgrade. As of right now, we've got the Trickster Playstyle Plus. We have Finesse, Power Shot, Flare, Technical, Quick Step, and Traveller on him. And in terms of stats, for a free objective, not the worst you could go with. Great dribbling on him. Pace is good. Shooting with a little bit of help from a hunter is never going to be a bad thing. That would keep him as an explosive acceleration type and would take him to 98 pace and 89 shooting, turning him into an 89 winger. So let's have a look at Armand Neres and see if he's worth your time of day. Are you looking for gift cards, game keys, and more? Head over to U7 Buy for a variety of cards you can get today. From PSN, Steam, all the way to Xbox. With huge amounts of price variations, check the link in the description for cheap, reliable digital cards for you right now. Oh, Nerez! Oh, literally, it just fell to him. I don't know why I went with the finesse. What do we got on him then? That's the big question. It looks like nothing free kick or in how far down is he? 91 power? Yeah, no, he's, he's going nowhere near this. And he's going for the shot, though. Schmeichel with a big save. Stand on the edge of the box. Not too bad. The only problem he's got is technical... Uh, not technical. Um, trickster. It's just not really the one I want to go for, to be honest with you. So we find him again on the outskirts. He's going to sit one down. He's going to find that left foot. Can we find the best? And it's beautiful. Going to find him again, maybe on a bit of a dribble. Finds the inside, looking for the one step. Finds it a bit of Eto. The only problem with him is he's going to have the three-star weak foot, which means he is going to be heavily on that left foot, nearly getting him as we find him one more. Finds a bit of Stuchkov. Who can he get it? It is under the keeper. Lovely stuff. But he is going to be predominantly left foot only as the freestyle weak foot most definitely is not going to help him in that final third. But dribbling wise, looks phenomenal. Very, very agile on the ball so far. He is cutting wingers down. So we find him here. Can we get that little left foot through? It's a great block from the left back. Find him again. Have we got him on side this time? Virgil's going to be trying to stick it on him. Going to come back. Try and do some hocus pocus if we can. Can we get a bit of a trickster in? Ooh, if we went for the tackle, that'd have been a penalty. Clean dribbling from him. Trying to pass through Bruno, which is always nice. Uh, I'd take that as, as kind of my input more than anything. So we try and find Eto again. Virgil's going to be the block. Can we get round? Ooh, find him again. Oh, nearly. I think the big thing with any of these cards is not even necessarily what you can have right now. Oh, lovely turn. But it is kind of the future debate. If Benfica do manage to go through, I don't believe we have any sort of groupings at the moment. So we don't know anything there. That's a terrible, terrible ball. Ah, oh, we've let him through. Can we cut the side? Valverde missed. But the fact that... that We've got, what, four players that can all be upgraded. Yes, they're not necessarily from the teams that maybe should win it. They're, there's, they're definitely not in that category that they are in the favourites in any shadow of imagination. But we've seen a lot. I think the big one was Napoli for Mertens, I want to say. Literally, everybody disregarded that SBC. And I believe, or it was either Mertens or Rapsador or someone like that. And literally, they ended up with like an extra free upgrades on top. Sometimes it can happen. I'm not saying that it will, but it sometimes can. And Neres definitely wouldn't be a terrible one to get. He seems very agile on the ball. Would save yourselves having to do a big left wing or right, uh, well, a right wing SBC. Granted, if you've already got one, then that's fair enough. There is plenty out there. George Best could be just shifted to the other side. So it depends on what you're looking for. I don't think he's necessarily main team material, but definitely is kind of like a Brazilian objective, maybe a different sort of squad. He could potentially have that in him. And that's going to be a goal. 
Oh, there he is. Finds the opening. It's almost there. It's perfect onto that left foot. It's exactly why you want him on that right wing rather than pushing him over to the main foot. Kind of on that left wing side. He's going to be absolutely perfect as Eto bangs, an bangs? <laughs> bangs another one in. Oh, gets the look of the draw. Great pace. Virgil in pursuit. Look for the fake. Oh, this is this is where he gets us on the double man. Tries to find something and Sakina is going to absolutely murder him in the box. When you've got two on you, it, it's very hard for anybody, to be honest. That's a great block. Can we get something? Finds an He's got a great through ball on him. That's one thing we do like from him. Great one, two. Eto's there. Oh, it's perfect. Need the second striker if we can. Second striker, please. Big through ball over the top. I'd love to see it. Can we cut on that left? Find the finesse. It's a good strike. He definitely has that ability. What we got on shooting long shot? 83, 90 shot power. I mean, it's definitely good enough to be able to kind of get that every now and then. It's not going to be the main factor for him as we find something and we've given him the goal. Ah, Tevez, we ate you. Oh, lovely reverse. Finds in a bit of Eto again. Can we find him across? One more, please. Best. Left foot, right foot, anything other. I think it's just the Trickster Plus. I'm just not a big fan of it, to be honest. There's, there's no real bonus for it. Like, yes, maybe you can go with a few more skills. Maybe it gives you a little bit more of a kind of a, an ability to dribble. But when it comes to it, like, th there isn't anything that, that screams me saying, like, this is a must play Star Plus. Every time I get it, you get the, the cool animation, which is really sick. Like, don't get me wrong, that, that I like. It is decent, but... It's not going to be, if, if I'm 1-1, one, one, 90th minute champs, I guarantee I'm not pulling that out one bit. How on earth we let him get that? Blew that chance. Over the top, nice. Inside, ball roll into the finesse. Oh, it's just not got enough conviction, has it? Nerez, finesse. Oh, come on, get a shot on. There it is. There it is. There it is. Great work from him. Absolutely minces Virgil van Dijk in the edge. I, I thought he was kind of hoping that we were going to go for the finesse again. But we learn from this chance that Neres maybe isn't the one to score unless it's an easier option. So we will go with that and kind of work with that in our own advantage. All right, we've got to get a win in this one. There's no way that they can have this against us again. Ooh, big foot race. Looking for the inside. Find a finesse again. You thought we would learn. Oh, it was closer. Oh, could this be our shout? Nerez is stepping up for this penalty. I don't even care what he's got. 84. It's good enough. Oh, God. He's going to save it, isn't he? He's going to save it. He's going to save it. He's going to save it. I knew he was going to save it. Why didn't I go down the middle? Oh, great ball. Ping it in. Oh, get the pass right. That would have been spectacular. It was a great ball through as well. There he is. Travella. Gotta be, Neres finally gets himself a goal. Stunning stuff. Ooh, finding a bit of a whip. We have been leaked as well that we are getting a UCL road to the knockout evolution. So that'll be very interesting to see what we can do there. Oh, it's a great ball through. Get your rapid, get your rapid. Go away, Rio. Gotta go for the shot. Oh, Mbappe. Oh, Neres with a beautiful assist to Puti Ellis. So going into the overall four Neres then. To be honest, not actually that bad. Pace-wise, absolutely phenomenal. Like we said, we went with a Hunter. 98 pace, 99 acceleration. You know the drill. 89 on that shooting. Did wonders once he managed to get in front of goal. Granted, he is very one-footed, which is something to always take into consideration. If, like I say, they do manage to win the Europa, he would have a 5-5. But also, I'd expect him to have a better card by then. Or at least somewhat of a better card. Because it would only be 90. This would be after Team of the Season for the final upgrade. And when it comes to these cards, like we've got... Where are they? We've got four different cards we can have. To be honest, I'm just glad that we've got four upgradable cards. You've obviously got Copenhagen. They have got Man City. So whether they actually even get through is going to be the biggest accomplishment, to be honest. You then have PSV. They could stand a chance. I'm pretty sure they've got Dortmund. And I want to say Porto's got Arsenal. So I'd say at least these two have a slim chance. I don't think Copenhagen have 
any chance in the world, to be honest. The best chance they have is winning one game. Whether that happens or not is going to be the big question. With Benfica, um, again, with the Europa, I don't know if they're going through or, or at least I don't know the results going through. We haven't had them as of yet, I don't believe. Let me know down below if you think I'm wrong or at least you know the answer, to be honest. Hunter's definitely the way to go with him. Very silky on the dribble. Great pace. Just an absolute delight of a winger. But what I'm kind of anticipating is hopefully an upgrade for him at the minimum. If we could get a double upgrade, I think that is a, success, a successful card. That for me is going to be number one. 86 is not terrible, but I'd say if they were to go out, the, out of the Europa League, I'd say an evolutions later on down the line would be what I'd be looking for. We can already make him an 86 with a finisher. Again, whether you'd want to do that or have done that is going to be the big question. And we could have made him an 88 if you followed these steps. Whether you did or not is down to you, but this card has the potential to be higher than that. And then hopefully an evolution later on the down the line if they don't.